Hi guys, okay today it's uh, melons, so uh, one of my favorite fruits as well, part of the melon family, so rock melons, watermelon. Today we're going to talk about honeydew. Now these little guys are fantastic, uh, they, are, they are a beautiful fruit to eat when they're ripe, they're uh, uh, very nutritional. Um, it's a fruit that can be a little bit difficult to know when to eat. Um, I've always had a little bit of difficulty knowing, you know, the exact uh, uh, the exact guidelines of this, even more so than a rock melon and a watermelon. But the guidelines that I use, and I've seen this over the years, is a couple of things. One is um, is the weight. Weight is always a really good thing if it's got good weight in it. You know, the flesh is nice and thick, lots of juice inside. Two is that. Uh, pressing the top uh, of the honeydew um, and if it just starts to move you know there's a little bit of movement there it's starting to color up and it'll uh, and it'll ripen up when they're a little bit lighter in color uh, less ripe when there's a bit of movement of color uh, as they're ripening this is uh, this is also an indication um, I guess also one of the things that's nice is if you're growing these things which is a really good thing a um, little bit of movement in the stalk when the stalk comes off uh, nice and easy, you know that the fruit's ripe as well, which is always a good thing to know and uh, a fun thing to grow in the garden. Um, so here we go, honeydew today. Uh, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to show you a couple of things on, um, on what it can be eaten with, how it can be cut. And um, here we go. Fun. Okay, guys, here it is. So we're going to cut this little baby now and it's just, it's ready to, it's ready to be cut. I can feel, let's see, we've got a little bit of movement here in the color. Uh, the weight's good, as I said. It's just starting to soften up here. So uh, what I'd like to do is I'm going to cut the, uh, the tip off it and, and the back end off it. Then I'm going to split it in half. I'm going to scoop out the inside. And there's a couple of different things I can show you on how we can uh, present, uh, present honeydew. And uh, it's a great nibbly. You can cut it into little pieces and it's uh, it's just fun to eat. So, uh, okay, first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold him nice and steady, keep him on, uh, keep him on the board because uh, it's, quite a, it's quite a big fruit. We're gonna just take the tip off here like so, swing him around. You can see that color looks really nice. So this should be, and we can start to see a little bit of the, little bit of the color as well as we cut it. So basically take the tip off the end Okay, you can see the nice green coming out of that. And then look um, at where we can just slice it right in half. So um, hold it nice and steady on the table. And turn it around and straight down the middle. Okay, so here we go. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so you can see the seeds, same family as the melons, as I said to you. Honeydew, when it has a darker green on the uh, on the on the outside, you can see the layer of the skin here. So it's um, we can go fairly close uh, to the skin and still have the sweetness of the fruit. But where actually the sweetness is that's fantastic in honeydew is right in the middle. So we'll scoop out some of these seeds and. Uh, and I'll bring this over here. And so basically what we're doing here is we're just taking the seeds out. Nice and easy here as in scooping it down. We don't want to go too far in. We only really want to get the seeds out because there's a lot of sweetness in the fructose uh, in the flavor of the honeydew. So, uh, and it has quite a unique and sweet flavor. So definitely, uh, definitely just wanting to take only the seeds and I'll bring that over. It's probably easier. I just bring this bowl over. Okay, so where you can see the juice. So this this honeydew is just so ripe and so ready to eat. It's an absolute delicacy of a fruit. So taking the seeds out. Okay, and that's basically without taking the skin off. Oh. Mmm, that is so, so good. So basically one of the ways we can cut this, and I'll give you an idea on this here, of baking this into chunky pieces that can be broken up into a fruit salad. Um, it can be cut in slices like this. It can go on a fruit platter. And... 
So you can see something like that. I'll move this one over here. So basically then, as I said to you, we can go fairly close to the skin, but we don't want to go too close. I'm just going to show you something here in a technique so we can hold this. We can put it down and cut it or we can have it. Now, as I said to you, we don't want to go too close to the skin, but we still want that green to be on there. So basically it's only a, a short distance uh, of, from the skin to, uh, to the fruit. We can have that like this in pieces here. And this can go into the salad bowl. And this can be eaten, which is just magic. Let me taste one of these and I'll tell you what it's like exactly. And it's looking... That is such a nice consistency. You can see the green at the bottom coming right through to the fructose and the white at the top. I would say without a doubt that's one of the nicest honeys you have had all season. Absolutely beautiful, good weight, easy to cut. That's one way to cut it. That can go straight into a fruit salad. Can be eaten just like this. Kids love it. Nutritional, lots of vitamins and minerals, tasty. Remember what I said to you. Think about the weight when the skin is just a little bit soft around the sides. Oh, that is so good. Perfect to eat. Lovely fruit this time of the year and uh, totally enjoyable. Mm -hmm.